Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Coral. Last episode we took down Team Snare, ran him out of the city, and then we took down the second gym leader who was very, very difficult. Luckily Pikachu came in clutch right at the very end. We need to find Cux. I think we need to head south um, down below just uh, by the Fisherman's Hut. There's a tree we can cut so we can go that way. But I think we want to go for Route 4 and uh, explore here first. But ooh, quit staring. Hey man, you stared at me first. What you got for us? And I should probably lead off with Pidgey so I can level that and get a Pidgeotto. You got an oddish level 12, okay. Well, first of all, let's just take you up Ember. That'll be nice and easy. Yeah, I think we need to find Cut next because we need to get to the boat to go to Sunbeam Island to go and see the Professor. And I think it's either this way or it's a different way. The fact we can now use Cut, we need to find Cut. And I have a few theories on where it could be, but we'll have to wait and see. Like, I feel like if we catch a magic carp for the uh, the fisherman in the house, that could be a reward and that could maybe be cut. But I don't see a fisherman giving us cut, to be honest. Let's uh, just take you out with some embers. And after this, we'll leave off a Pidgey, and then I need to probably put XP share on someone. Or maybe not. Depends what the level is like. So I think after the gym leader, after losing and just, like, fighting a lot, we probably have everyone fairly evenly leveled. I know Clefairy is probably my highest level right now at level 18 or 19. But we shall see, we shall see. Right, get destroyed Jigglypuff. I think we get Pidgeotto at level 17, right? We get Pidgeotto soon. It's level 16, okay. Right, let's train up Pikachu and Pidgey. Uh, hi. I love fishing? Yes, I do. I love fishing? How about you? Uh, I do not. <laughs> I do not like fishing. I've been fishing uh, once in my life. I did not like it. And it's, oh, dude, chit chow. I like you as a Pokemon, but man, I do not like battling you. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> well, unless you have a grass type. If you have a grass type, it's, you know, it's great. But <laughs> if you don't, it's uh, kind of annoying. Supersonic. Oh, I'm glad it doesn't affect us. So let's just keep going. Fairy Wind. Right, not bad, not bad. And water Gun, okay. Oh good, we can take water guns pretty well. And then we're gonna level 20. I thought Clefairy was 18 for a second, but it's 19. Almost 20. And you paralyzed me, of course you did. Oh, you suck. <laughs> it's fine though, it's fine. Nice! That critical hit actually really clutch. Wait, level 20, let's go. And then you go, oh dude, whooper! What are you, the gym leader? The gym leader last episode was really tough because we couldn't use Pikachu because he had Chin Chow. Then you had Wooper, and then Gyarados was really tough and we just, just made, if you missed last episode, go and watch the battle because Pikachu, like just, just lived. We put Gyarados asleep, switching to Pikachu. Gyarados wakes up, hits Pikachu, doesn't get hit with static. Pikachu almost dies, gets the paralysis from Thundershock, and then Gyarados gets paralyzed in the final attack that would have killed Pikachu. It was, Oh, that was tough. Anyway, now we can finally go to Pikachu. And let's, uh, Thundershock this Buizel. Alright, Thundershock. Nice, critical hit. Sweet. Level 17, all good, all good. Alrighty. Let's continue down the route. Oh, there's a Snorlax here, so we are not going this way. So we definitely need to get cut. Unless we go up that way. Uh, it's always something. <laughs> First that widow wouldn't let me leave town. And now a Snorlax decided this was the perfect place to take a nap. I'm just trying to get home. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's go up this way. Hunter's Ficker. Okay, this looks pretty interesting. Any cool Pokemon we can catch around here, maybe? We got a Pikachu. I mean, if you want to like train up for the uh, second gym, or you need electric type, then this is a good place to go. Just got a repel, and I'm assuming you're going to want to battle. Yep. Nice. Another trainer. Time to keep my winning streak going. Awkward that you're going to lose your winning streak. Cool trainer Sally. What you got for us? A Growlithe. Nice. Gonna hit that with a couple of gusts, and we'll be good. Don't do too much and don't burn me. Alright, so far so good. 
Oh, that is a lot less than I thought. Okay, never mind. Let's switch. Go Charmeleon. I'll go for a few uh, Dragon Breaths. Here I was thinking I was going to do a lot more damage than that, but clearly not. Alright, at least we have a little 18 once we beat this Growlithe. And we've got the Paralysis. I'll take it, I'll take it. Ember won't, won't do much damage, surely. Four. Yeah, we can, we can take many, many Embers. Woo. Come on, I can just get paralyzed that one last, last turn or just do the last little bit of damage. Ah. All right. Goodbye, Growlithe. Nice. All right, Mareep. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not gonna go into uh, Pidgey here. But we are definitely gonna get Pidgeotto. Probably within the next five minutes, I'd say. Depends on how many battles there are. And if we can actually lose one, that is. So Mareep's actually doing a little bit of damage. Nice. And Thundershock should be fine. Oh, the paralysis, no! Oh, why do I keep jinxing myself? I am the jinx master. I should put jinx on my team. If I find a jinx, I've got to put on the team, right? Surely. I mean, Psychic Ice would be kind of good for the team, to be fair, type-wise, but the amount I'm jinxing myself in this game, I, I think I need it. It's just, it's calling to me. I don't think I've ever used a jinx in a playthrough before. And I think this is going to be the one if I find one. <laughs> Gonna have to. Alright, I'm gonna go get healed up. I'll see you guys back in a sec. Alright, we're back. Nice and healthy. And we are leading off a Pidgey. Yep. Nice bug type dude. Should be a nice, easy, uh, easy battle. It's like going for the fairy forest, forest with all them venipedes. Bam! Just gust everything. Although, oh, this makes life a little bit more difficult. <laughs> oh, it can never be easy, can it? It can never be easy. Oh, I'm gonna have to switch. Uh. Charmeleon, Dragon Breath it. I just want nice easy battles just to get some experience. <laughs> just, oh, why does everything have to be like dual type and just destroy my day? It's fine, it's fine. Oh, Paralysis, nice. Rock Blast, oh no. Stop. Okay, two times, that's fine. Woo, that could have been seriously bad for us. Alright, one next, one next. Uh, oh, another one. <laughs> another one. It's like, you had enough? Not yet, you haven't. Take another doable. Got the prize skin. If you get paralyzed this turn, that'd be so, so good. I mean, fate attack's fine. Alright, another dragon breath. Wait, okay. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, got X speed. Alrighty then. Want to battle? Isn't this spot just beautiful? This is my favorite place in the whole wide world. I mean, it's, it's alright. Not bad. Not great. It's okay. Alright, level 13 Meryl. This is something we should be able to handle. And then get all the experience and hopefully get level 17. Defense curl, that's fine. Just don't go for a rollout. Please don't have a rollout. Pidgey has just been for enough this episode. It just wants to become a Pidgeotto. That's all it wants. So please be cool. Nice, one more. No, no rollout. No, we're fine, we're fine. We can take it out, we can take it out. Oh man, what is going on? Pidgey just not having a good day. Oh, we didn't even get level 17. Okay, we should be fine against this. There's no way you, like, take 18 damage. This will be super effective, so it's fine. Okay. Oh, the hypnosis! Oh, dude! I'm so sorry, Pidgey. I'm gonna have to switch out. Just don't see you waking up in time before you die. Bullet seed. Okay, that's, that's fine. Doing one damage a turn. Even if you hit five times, it does not matter. Unless somehow you get, like, what, five crits in a row? That one's gonna kill me. Alright, Ember, finish you off. 
Right, if we level 17 and then we evolve Pidgeotto and get Wing Attack, that would be so clutch. Okay, well that's Whirlwind, it's not Wing Attack, but... Do we evolve level 17? I feel like it is 17, right? No, it's not! Oh, when does Pidgey evolve? I, th I thought it was 17, but I guess it's maybe like 18, 19, 20, 21. Around there. I got a Calcium, okay. Right, so that's this little area explored. Nothing really to find. We've got a Piggy Peck. Nice. Uh, run away. Don't want to use you because we've got a Pidgey. We're going Gen 1, baby. Right, so we need to find Cut. So we need to start um, talking to everyone again. Because the way to go has got to be south. And I'm thinking we, we need to probably... Um, find a fishing rod, then catch a magic cup. That's what I'm thinking is going to be the way to do it, unless someone just gives me cut. So double check, I haven't got cut nail. Okay, good. Otherwise, that would have been embarrassing. Uh, have you heard of Professor Spruce? Uh, he's an authority on Pokemon around here. I think he lives on Sunbeam Island. That's what I'm trying to get to. Some Pokemon only evolve if you trade them with another person. I've heard that they've recently developed another way to evolve them. Uh, how cool is that? Yeah, man, that's awesome. Sargloe Valley was founded as a fishing village. Plenty of fishermen still uh, swear by the fishing around here, but I'm not so sure. All right, uh, so we know we have to go probably south. Left is the um, uh, gym leader. Sometimes when fishing, my line will get caught on something in the water. When that happens, I have my Pokemon use cut on it. Oh, there we that's how you get cut. There we go, that's where you get it. Sweet. Okay, but you could use it to cut down small trees in your way. Need that badge from this talent gym leader to use it outside of battle, though. Okay, sweet. I thought I spoke to everyone, but I guess maybe he came out after um, we dealt with Team Snare. I'm gonna cut down the tree. I love the fact that this game's put the um, the feature in. Like, I wish like every fan game ROM hack would put the feature in. If they put HMs in, I don't mind HMs. I actually kind of enjoy having to like have areas locked off until you get HM or whatever. But I like it when they have it where you can teach it to the Pokemon if you want, but if you don't, as long as your Pokemon can learn it, you can use it. That's what I really like, and oh man, Chin Chows are just, oh, so annoying. They're really making me want to just find a, uh, a grass type, <laughs> just to deal with these, easily. I mean, hey, Clefairy can do it. Thunderstruck doesn't do too much. Only level 14, not 17 compared to the uh, Jim Lido. Also had Spark that was doing a lot more damage than Thundershock. Alright, keep it going. Woo, critical hit. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Come on, get through the supersonic. Get through the supersonic. Come on, come on. No. <laughs> it's fine. Next time, next time. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Oh, good. How much experience do we get? 135. That's not bad. Uh, next is a horsey. Ooh. You know, I wouldn't actually mind using a horsey on the team. No, I said I, said I was going to use a Corsola for the, uh, on the team, for the water type. Just because, like, the game's mask, the, yeah, this game's mascot is, like, Corsola from the title screen and stuff, so I wouldn't mind using one. But I can't remember the last one I used a Kingdra. I do like Horsey and Seedra. If I can't find a Corsa, then I'll use a Seedra. Kingdra. But, uh, yeah. I knew someone would uh, come along looking for a battle. Hook, line, and sinker. Alright, just don't have a Chin Chow. Do not have a Chin Chow. Please don't have a Chin Chow. Carvana. Ooh. Oh, that looks cool. Right, Gustia. That's good damage. Rage. Fine, only five damage. Ooh. I'm not gonna have a quick attack, so I think you might have rough skin and I'm not just doing damage to myself, so Gust is the uh, better move here. Nice. Almost level 18. Another Kavana. If 18 is when we evolve, then we are gonna be evolving after this battle. Although Aqua Jet's not great. I can take another Aqua Jet, which is good. Oh, nice. That's good damage. 
Wait, okay. Level 18. Sweet. Okay, now I'm gonna go to Pikachu. And I hope you evolve to a Pidgeotto. Got a Magikarp. Okay, I can stay in. Unless the Magikarp's gonna be super strong and end up taking me out, we'll see. Oh no, Splash is too, is too powerful! No! No, I'm good. <laughs> ah, Splash again! <laughs> oh. The ways I amuse myself. Anyway. All good. Get destroyed, Darren, and yes! It's level 18. Wonder why I thought it was 17. Whew. Look at my Pidgey. My beautiful, sorry, my Pidgeotto, I should say now. My beautiful Pidgeotto. It's too good. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, let's go check the bridge. Yeah, it's just the Snorlax. Uh, I'm gonna put XP share onto you. Just for a little bit. Hey, yo. There's so many uh, great Pokemon around here. I can't wait to catch some. Ooh, great Pokemon, eh? I'll be the judge of that. What you got for us? A Meowth. Meowth's so cute. Alright, Gustia. Come on, big damage. Now we're a Pidgeotto. Should be doing a lot more. Fury swipes and it misses! Yeah, boy! You wanna taunt me? That's absolutely fine. Quick attack, finish off, make sure we get that last little hit in. Bam! Ooh. Okay. Uh, Trumbeak. Uh, yeah, gonna Pikachu. Ooh! Sprite looking so cool. Love that, like I said before, I love that they're animated. That's so sweet. Okay, not bad. Ground me. Okay, that's all good. And then one more thunder shot. Goodbye, Trumbeak. Nice. <sighs> Close to 18. No, we are 18. Nice. Hey. Do, 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 do. do you want to battle, sir? Pokemon appear much more often than taller grass. That's good for me because I'm looking for a new team member. Might want to avoid it, though. No, I'm, oh, uh, I'll go to tall grass. What kind of Pokemon can we find in here? Oh, Teddy Ursa Sprite looks so adorable. But I don't want Teddy Ursa. Anything else? Come on, show me something really cool and new. I mean, Joltik's kind of sweet, but I don't want a Joltik. Uh, let's see, let's grab this. Grab the berry, and then we're gonna keep searching in the grass. Because it looks like this route has a lot of new Pokemon in. And I wouldn't mind a new team member. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to start grinding everything if I get another one, but... Who knows, might find something really sweet. Alright, let's run away. You wanna battle, sir? Oh, Breloom on the team could actually be kind of clutch. I don't know. Do I, I don't. I don't really want to use a Breloom to be honest. I mean, it would be good type-wise. I don't know if I want to use a Breloom. I'll think about it. Might come back and get one, like I did with Pidgey. Do you know what I battle, sir? So I found a Cipher right here on Route Five. I told my friend, but he won't believe me. Must be really rare. Oh, I mean, that's kind of cool. Shroomish, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to use a Shroomish. Don't fancy a Breloom. Like, type wise, it would be good, but I just don't want to use one. There's like a little way. I like, there was two ways to go. This way looks a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I might run back and just check on the other side. Maybe probably just a few battles, but might find a Pokemon that I might think, oh, I want to use that. So we can yeah, grab this. Cherry berry! Woo! Uh, so there's at least one. I think there's two battles at least. Let's 
style. I wonder if Wid is in this uh, this game. That'd be kind of cool if they had like a uh, Gen 8 Pokemon. Oh, that'll be an easy fight here. Just that right now. <laughs> Do you like bugs? No, I absolutely hate bugs. I hate bugs so, so much. Got a ladybug. Okay. Although, like, as much as like in real life I hate bugs. Ladybugs? I don't, I, I like ladybugs. I used to like, let, when I see someone in the bushes, let them go on my hand and put them back. It's just, I don't know, they're kind of cute. Anyway. Otherwise, other bugs, I'm just like, no, stay away from me. Stay away from me. It's just, yeah, ugh. Thinking about it now, just seeing a lot of bugs, ugh. Don't like it. It's been kind of just like, just shiver, like, ugh. Alright, Joel take a uh, switch. A little bit weak. I'm gonna try and get my whole team to level like 20. Gotta try and like level everyone up equally. I'm gonna try avoid using Clefairy for a little bit. Because Clefairy just too good. It's been so clutch since we got I think like out of all the Pokemon I caught, and that was definitely the best like catch. Kinda I'm so glad I put that on the team, because otherwise this game will be a lot harder. When I got through the, that first cave, Water Gym would have been difficult. Anyway, yeah, let's lead it off with you. Sup? Uh, you're walking awful, awful close there. You must want to battle. Um, you know what? Yeah, I do. Experience would be nice. Because honestly, this game... It's, it's not, like, super difficult, but it's got, it's got a bit of, like, difficulty to it, you know? It's not like uh, a walk in the park, but... It's not like uber difficult where you're going to be struggling every single battle. It's just like, it just feels right, you know? It just feels perfect. This means you just need to do a little bit of grinding here and there. You can't just like, let the, you know, let the game just walk you through it. Alright, we got Oddish. So we go for another Ember. I like Oddish's sprite. He's just sitting down like, no, nope, I don't want to fight. I'm just going to sit here. Let you burn me to a crisp. Oh, we're going to live. Wow. Oh, Stun Spore, you suck! You suck, you suck, you suck. Alright, with any luck, I get through the, uh... Paralysis? Come on, please. There we go. Whew. Alright. Hey, level 19. Yeah, boy. Okay. Oh, it's getting like evening time now. I just hit 6 p.m. in real life, so that's why. Looks good though. Alright, Teddy Ursa. Uh, we will just Dragon Breath. Yeah, that'd be better than Ember. Big damage. Ah, oh, got the paralysis. I'll take that. Yeah, man. And yeah, fully paralyzed. Great. <laughs> oh, you missed though. Ah. Oh, sometimes the luck in this game is just. It's brilliant. Nice. Uh, Meryl would we'll go Pikachu. I remember like before Gold and Silver came out and me and my friends and everyone in the schoolyard first saw like a picture of Meryl and everyone thought it was Pika Blue. <laughs> oh. Like I feel, I feel like you just don't really get that nowadays. Like um, the, the, the sort of like rumours, leaks sort of things as a kid. They're all just like so stupid and so bad and like now it's just like it's so obvious that maybe if you're like if you're a kid, it's probably not as obvious. But like now, it's just like oh, that's clearly fake. Or oh, look, here's a proper person that's like, leaked a lot of stuff months in advance. Oh, look, he was right again. It's just like oh, great. <laughs> oh, it's just it's just not the same, you know. You used to miss like the um the the Koro Koro magazine leaks, waiting for the little scans to come in. Oh, that was that was great as well. Uh, you got Charmy, I mean, that's fine. Pikachu vs Eevee right now. Let's go Pikachu vs, let's go Eevee. 
I don't say I kind of fancy playing through them games again. I honestly really enjoyed them. Like one of my biggest criticisms of that game is and it's not even like to me like a big criticism. It's just I think they should have added the Sevi Islands into it. Then that game would have been like a you know easy top top tier Pokemon game. Hundred percent. I know a lot, a lot of people didn't like it for a lot of different reasons, but I thought the art style didn't mind playing through Kanto again. A little added stuff into it was great. Didn't mind the catching mechanic too much. I mean, it could have been a bit better. The cop was actually kind of fun, made it too easy though, but with like with a few tweaks. I mean, like if they did a, went back and revisited the Let's Go series, I think they could actually make it a banger. Just needs tweaks. But I feel like it wasn't too well received, so they probably won't go back to it. Unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for me, probably not I'm probably happy for a lot of other people. You never know, you know? You might think, oh, let's, let's go. Round two. Oh, we got paralysis, nice. If you get paralyzed. Nice, can't be trembling, got through this, all right. Matchup, get paralyzed. Oh, let's go, she took you out. Wait, can't believe you won that. Uh, Teddy Ursa, let's go into Pikachu. I'm getting very weak, I might run back and heal up. Depends how, you know, close we are to wherever we're going. And I can buy some like potions and stuff just to make sure the journey is a lot easier because I don't want to go for another cave again and just get to a point where like I am super near death, you know? So yeah, I think actually, yeah, I'm definitely going to run back off this and... Okay, good. I'm about to say, you're not going to get hit with static? Come on, Teddy Ursa. And you're still going. Five times, ouch. Please get hit with the paralysis, please get hit with the paralysis. Yes! This Teddy Ursa is actually kind of strong. Like, taking these thunder shocks pretty well. Bite, please don't die. No! It's okay. Uh, we'll go Pidgeotto. Gust to finish you off. Nice. All good, all good. Alright, let me go get uh, healed up. And I'll see you guys back here in a second. I'm also going to buy some potions and whatnot. Alright, we're back. Nice and healthy. Also ran through the grass again. Had a little look to make sure there was like another Pokemon. Found the Cypher. Didn't want to use it. Um, and yeah, there's nothing really in there I wanted. Uh, I've heard that there is a place deep in these woods where you can uh, catch a rare Pokemon that can evolve into several different Pokemon. I would not mind an Eevee. So we can... Is it, no, is it these woods? Like, is this the woods here? No. I heard there is a place deep in these woods where you can catch a rare Pokemon. You don't mean this area here, right? So if I can find an Eevee, I could maybe get like, I don't know, something for the team. But uh, man, I would give anything for a Rage Candy Bar. I spent all my allowance on Pokeballs. Hey, you want to trade? Um, no, I'm good. <laughs> Sup? Thank goodness this rest stop is here. I'm exhausted. Oh, it's a rest stop. Maybe there is a... um. Forest, this forest coming up. Hiya, uh, like, you want some refreshments? Um, I'm good, thanks. Blocking the ATM, uh, oh hi. Are you trying to use the ATM? Yes. I thought so. I'll move if you promise to buy me a soda pop. How about it? Sure. Okay then, better keep your word. Alright, gonna buy her a soda pop, see what happens. This better be good. So, did you bring me a soda pop like you promised? I did. Yay, you kept your word. You're a good person. I'm sorry I blocked the ATM earlier. Make up for blocking the ATM. I'll give you a TM. <laughs> oh, thank you. Got false swipe, all right. Uh, that's good. Thank you very much. Um, the girl at the refreshment stall sure is pretty. She kind of, uh, she's kind of an airhead though. She accidentally gave me some extra food. Sweet. Uh, you've still got plenty more road ahead of you. You'd be smart to stop and take a break. Sure. Didn't need to, but what we got up here? Ooh. Uh, whoa! What's so high up? Looking down out of the uh, window is making me dizzy. Oh wow! So that's Sunbeam Island. Uh, there are windows on every side of this room. I can't decide which one to stare out of. <laughs> Getting up here is a lot of uh, hard work at my age, but you can't beat this view. And last person, my friend says he found his cipher on Route 5. I just can't find one. Do you have a cipher? I want to trade it for my Heracross. Oh! I mean, I could have done that. 
because I found a cipher, but I don't really want to use a hero cross. So uh, let's start making our way this way. There's a big eradicate there. So I walked all the way here, and there isn't even a bridge to the island. I can see it off in the distance. Looks like I have to take a boat. All right, let's grab this. Got a revive, not bad. All right, uh, hi. Whew, I made it through the woods. Halfway home. So Route 5 must have an Eevee then? And my boyfriend and I came here to be alone. But then those two creeps showed up. Wait, what two creeps? All right, what you got for us? Nid Arena, oh, I guess I'll have to fight your boyfriend with the Nid Arena. Oh. Alright, let's go Dragon Breath. Not the best damage, but it will do. Just keep spamming it, and everything will be fine. Nice. Fury swipes. Oh, you missed! <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Next up, we have a Nidorino, right? Vincent, they beat me. Hey, oh. Those uh, two old people just showed up out of nowhere. Are these two people? They're really killing the mood. I'll go talk to the old people, see what they want. Alright. Yep, Nidorino, of course. The gloss of the sprite for Nidorino looks sick. And Nidorino also looks really cool. But let's uh, just Dragon Breath here. Nice. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop! <laughs> Four times, man. <laughs> oh, you're the worst. Paralyze. Oh, that's fine. Alright, one more, finish you off, and then we'll go speak to the old couple. See why they're being creeps. Yeah, we're close to 20. So next battle, we'll stop using Charmeleon for a little bit. Hey, oh. Hello there. I see you're a trainer too. Do you want to battle? Are you just watching the young people because you want to battle, maybe? You got Statler! Intimidate, that's, that's fine. Dragon Breath! Paralyze? Give me that paralysis, man. Won't ask again. Here we go! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Woo! And you didn't even get paralyzed. I mean, like, you got paralyzed, but you didn't get stopped from the paralysis. Ah, oh, you're the worst. Wait, wait, that's Charmeleon now, level 20. Alright, all good, and then... we will lead off with uh, Pidgeotto next, I think. And our team's all good, all 20. Huh? Oh wow, you actually you want to battle me? Oh, that's a first. Yeah man, let's do it. <laughs> the little kid looks so angry. <laughs> Why do he look so, he's like, oh, you're gonna fight you, man. Oh, let's go for a gust. That's not the best, I mean, it's grapple type, but still. Just keep gusting. And then we'll go for two more. Keep it going, keep it going. And one more finish you off. Hey, let's go, alright. Hey, Peach level 20, sweet. Wants to learn double team, um... Gonna get rid of Growth double team. Could try to be a bit cheesy sometimes, keep double teaming. Double team, double team, double team, and you know what? Some more double teams, but we'll definitely just take you out of Pikachu right now. It'll be a lot quicker and easier. I was like, Wingo, I forgot Wingo was a Pokemon. <laughs> I haven't seen it in such a long time. Nice. Well, I feel like I haven't seen it in a long time. Alright. Look at the kid, look at him. Look how angry he looks. It's like, Grandpa, go beat that kid up. Oh, hi. My fool of a husband lost our tickets. Now they won't let us on the boat. Bloody must keep composure. But a trainer can uh, freely vent their frustrations. Well, your husband... sucks. <laughs> Alright, meow. 
Should be an easy battle. You're gonna taunt me? Yeah, that's all good. I just thought as well, when our team is like... Right now, if our, if our team's fully evolved, we're gonna have a Charizard, a Pidgeot, a Clefable, and a Logan Raichu. We're gonna be super, like, strong. Like, our team is not something to be messing around with. So good. We still got two more team members left to get, and I don't know what I want. I mean, if I can find an Eevee... I kind of fancy using an Umbreon. I haven't used one in a long time. Maybe a Vaporeon could also be kind of nice. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, Baneri. You wanna relax? Uh, I'm gonna switch into Clefairy. And then we go for a nice, uh... Nice Fairy Wind. Oh, if I knew you were gonna go for Force, I would've stayed in. I would've taken, <laughs> taken you out. Ooh, okay. One more Fairy Wind. Come on, one more. Oh, you're gonna use a Max Potion? Using a Max Potion on level 15 Baneri? Dude, what is wrong with you? Honestly. It ain't that special. I would love to have a max potion. I mean, I wouldn't use it for a long while, but still. Actually, that's a lot. I would use it if I had to use it. I guess you kind of had to use it, but still. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. There you go. I'm going to have two max potions. Oh, wait, endure. Forgot. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. There we go. Stupid Baneri. You're the worst. Okay. How uncouth. Got 3,000 though for beating you. That's Route 7. It's a TM there. Uh, if you go north from here, you'll reach Lake Onwa. It's a little town set up on the lakeside. I don't think they have a gym there. Let me check the poke gear. Uh, I feel like I should probably go to this place first. Before we go to Sunbeam. Just to check it out. We might have like a side quest we can do or might even find some decent Pokemon. Might get a few items. Might even find a HM there. Who knows? It's always good to go explore. That's if we can actually get there because it might be blocked off. So a fresh young trainer. How about a battle? Yeah, sure. These hikers are just destroying me. Hey, we got a Pidgey. Which we don't need. Just run away. Come on, show me something like new. Something I want to add to the team. Don't know what, but just something new. <laughs> uh, let me just run. Just going to keep on running. So Lake on Oh, there's Pseudo Widow. Guess we need a watering can for that though. Uh, unless you have a Pokemon that can travel across the water, you'll have to take a boat. Okay. Uh, welcome to the Lake Onwa Boat House. Uh, huh? You're supposed to meet someone on Sunbeam Island? Sorry, kid. The boats aren't running to the island today. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go? So the Sunbeam Boat House uh, won't give won't give us the 10-4 to ship out for some reason. Maybe you should uh, call the person you were supposed to uh, supposed to meet and let them know. Okay, uh, pocket gear, phone, you. Ah, Voltsy, how are your travels? Well, I have you, would you like to have your Pokedex? Oh, okay, no, I, I just want to let you know that, um... Okay, yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't care about Pokedex right now. I want to let you know that I can't come and see you. Okay, you just hung up on me. Uh, can I just, like, steal the boat? So we can't do that. Is it sleeping? It is definitely sleeping. Right, so where do I go? Give him a call. Doesn't care. <laughs> so I guess let's just keep going down. Was it Route 6? Just keep following the path and see where it takes us. I'm going to get that uh, TM. Hey, oh. My wife threw a fit when she found out I lost our tickets to the island. I mean, anyone would. How can you lose tickets? Most important thing. See what I do? Whenever I get tickets or something, if I get physical tickets, 
Well, if I get, even I get like um, send an email, I always make sure I take a screenshot or I take a picture of the tickets. Just have a little backup, just in case. Just in case. It helps out a lot. I'm gonna keep on thunder shocking. Nice. You know, roll me out. That's that's fine. You're lost, man. You're lost. And my Pidgeot needs the XP, so uh, I do not mind. Now, one more finish you off. And bam. Won't get to level 20, there's no way. Yeah, it's only a little teeny bitty, teeny bit of XP, but it's fine. And Swablu. Ooh. Swablu. It's kind of cute. I feel like Quick Attack might be better. Oh yeah, Quick Attack's much better. I should start going for Quick Attack instead. Like, what I want to learn is, um, is Wing Attack. Oh, that'd be so clutch. Oh, don't be putting me to sleep, Swablu. You're just delaying the inevitable, man. You're so weak. So, so weak, dude. Why you gotta be like this? Why? You wanna stop? Wake up. Next turn. Next turn, I'm gonna take you out. No, dude, just please. It's just like slowly taking me out. If I lose to a Swablu, I'm gonna be annoyed. Did you get a critical hit in there? You hit five times and you got a crit. Dude, you are the worst. I hate you, Swablu. Honestly. All right, not bad. No, it was very bad. Ah! Wait, have you been to Sunbeam Island? Anyone who's, uh, anyone has been there? Who do I talk, where do I go, what? Okay, I am so lost then. So we can't take the, the boat. I can't ring him. This is a dead end, I think. So I have to go somewhere. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what we do. I Maybe mean, there's like another path just up ahead. Or I'm gonna have to go and uh, talk to somebody to start something. I love games like this where it's just like not much information, just gotta try to figure it out and it's just, ah, oh, so good. Like I think hand holding in games is okay. But not too much, you know? Don't like when it's like, you need to go here, and then it's like, here's a literally just, like, directly, literally, like a map on the little mini maps, like, here's the point, it's like a little line telling you where to go. Don't like that. If they just say, go to Village A, and then you just gotta find Village A. I like that, I should not be having a shock here. Although, I mean, with the growls, probably not the worst thing to go for. It'll take a while, but <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Just keep on under shocking. I think two, no, three more thunder shocks. Two more. Although we could end up losing. If you get a crit, we could die. Come on, one more, one more. Oh, that was close. Stupid growls. Alright. Let's see where this takes us. Yeah, so this just leads to the TM then. So we need to find... Why we can't take the boat. Hmm. It wasn't TM though. Found charm. Sweet. Alright, there was nothing to the right, was there? So we can we go this way? No, that's dead end. Right, I can get healed up here. Uh, take a break, thank you very much. I think it's probably a great place to end this pod off. Next episode, we will find out how to take the boat or try and find a way to Sunbeam Island. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys next time. 
Have a great day. Peace.